Want to get a video message from Steve or Andy? Well, now you can through Cameo. Just click the link in the description box to get your own special message. Oh man, I am such a massive T-Rex fan. I can't wait to finally meet one. I don't know, man. A museum at night? It's kind of giving me the spook -a dukes No. Can't we just go to like a Popper John's or something? Relax! I've got this under control. I have watched all the Night at the Museum movies. Ooh, me too. The best part is when Shrek and Donkey beat up all those knights and rescue Princess Fiona. What? No! That's a totally different movie. But speaking of knights, we're in the medieval section now. Look! I am a big boy now. What? Huh. So that's what knights look like underneath their armor. Enough! Don't ruin this for me. The T-Rex hasn't existed since the Cretaceous period, about 85 to 65 million years ago. This is my one shot to get to meet one. Ooh, maybe they'll autograph my flashlight. Or his hand's too small to write. And... Shh! There it is. Oh my gosh. There's a snack stand over there. Sorry, Mr. T-Rex. Or should I call you Mr. T? Yeah, call me Mr. T-Rex. That's a great name. Uh... Wow, it is such an honor to meet you. But wait, why doesn't your mouth move when you talk? Yeah. I'm, uh, uh, practicing to be a ventriloquist. Uh... Wait a second, your voice sounds familiar. Yo, DeMeo, shine your light up there. I knew it! Okay, okay, you got me. Now can you get me down? Yeah, sure. Uh, I can't believe we came all this way and we aren't going to meet the T-Rex. Okay, here I come. Baringa? The... The Dean... Dean Martin... Tulips. What? Huh, why not? Mr. T-Rex? What, fool? Don't give me that jibber-jabber. Ask me your questions and get this show on the road. I'm, uh, sorry. Just a little, uh, nervous. You wouldn't be so nervous if you stood in school, ate your greens, and drank milk. I I'm sorry, Mr. T-Rex. I'm just, uh, starstruck. I've always wanted to meet you. Ooh. What do you say we start over? Yeah, that's fine by me. As I was saying, stay in milk, eat your greens, and eat milk. No. What? Don't you mean... Quiet, fool. I know what I said. Whatever. What do you say we start with an easy one? Yeah. Give me a little bit on your backstory. Sure, fool. Why not? When I was a little baby T-Rex, I ate my greens and drank my milk. 18 minutes later, my bones grew and I became a man. But my mama said, stay in school, Mr. T-Rex. So I did. The end. Mr. DeMeo. Why? I'm not getting much information out of this guy. Can you give me some more background info on the T-Rex? Mm, fine. T-Rex is short for Tyrannosaurus Rex. But what is a Tyrannosaurus and what is a Rex? Yeah. Tyranno means tyrant in Greek. It kind of means a mean ruler. Ah, I'm a mean ruler. Not that kind of ruler. Oh. Saurus means lizard in Greek. Hi there. And Rex means king in Latin. Put that all together and you get Tyrannosaurus Rex, AKA king of the tyrant lizard. <gasps> Small amounts of T-Rex bones were found in the 1890s, but the first partial skeleton was discovered in 1902 by Barnum Brown in Montana, which is one of the places that the T-Rex lived. It is believed that the T-Rex lived in the northwest of North America and Asia. In these areas, the T-Rex hunted for its prey. It was a carnivore, meaning it ate meat, and it hunted for herbivores, dinosaurs that ate plants. The most likely meal for the T-Rex was the Edmontosaurus or the Triceratops, but in some cases, they may have even eaten other T-Rexes. Whoa! They could reach heights up to 20 feet high, stretch as long as 40 feet in length, and weigh close to 20,000 pounds. What? That's as high as a giraffe, 
as long as three Volkswagen Beetles, and as heavy as one and a half elephants. Wow, how do you know so much about them? Yeah. I eat my greens. And drink your school. And stay in milk. Wait a second, that's not right. What? Quiet, fool. You ain't gonna get big like me. You keep jibber-jabbering and not drinking your milk. You are super big. How long did it take you to get like that? It takes a T-Rex about 17 years to grow to be an adult. But as a teenager, I gained as much as five pounds per day. And you could do that too if you stopped talking to strangers and drinking milk. Huh? Sheesh, relax, dude. What's with the attitude? I bet you he's so angry because he has such little arms. What do you mean, little arms? They're perfectly normal. Really, dude? You got this big old head and these little bird arms. Yeah, right. My arms are perfectly proportionate to the rest of my body. Oh, yeah? Then do this. Okay, I can't do that. Give me an easy one. Okay, how about this? Fine, I can't do that either. You got me. But hey, speaking of tiny arms, what's the deal with them? Ooh, I know. People are always talking about the T-Rex's arms. Rawr! Not me. I only talk about rulers. Sorry. And some scientists think that it's an evolutionary leftover. Like, look at this weird toe on this dog. That's called a dewclaw, and only some dogs have it. Now you're probably wondering, what does a dewclaw have to do with a T-Rex? Well, let me show you. 40 million years ago, there were these tree-climbing dog-like creatures called miases. They used this toe to help them climb. But as dogs changed over time, they didn't need this claw. But on some dogs, it still exists. Some scientists think that's the case with the T-Rex, that these arms were passed down from its ancestors. But over time, it served no purpose. Others believe the arms helped the T-Rex grip their prey or attack, since they did feature four-inch claws. But let's get into some cool stuff about the T-Rex's body. Yeah. The T-Rex had a stiff skull, which allowed it to channel all of the force of its muscles into one bite, delivering up to 431,000 pounds per square inch of pressure. To put that into perspective, a fully grown African lion's bite measured at 651 pounds per square inch of pressure. That means that the T-Rex's bite is over 663 times stronger than a lion. To eat, the T-Rex used its 60 sharp teeth, which were each about eight inches long. That's about the same size as a banana. And speaking of bananas, eat your fruits. Don't talk to strangers. What? Anyway, to keep from overheating while crushing its prey, the T-Rex likely had vents in its head to help it stay cool, similar to those found in alligators. You hear that, fool? I'm tough. I got sneaky alligator vents in my brain. I can mess you up. Wow, I've never met a dinosaur like you. Are there other types of Tyrannosaurus? Yes, there are other type of Tyrannosaurs out there, which some would call my cousins. These range from dinosaurs such as the Albertosaurus, to the u Tyrannus, or even the Reaper of Death, a Tyrannosaur species that existed about 80 million years ago. Wait a second, pop that last dinosaur back up on the screen for a sec. You mean this one? Yeah, it looks all furry. Is there a chance you had fur too? Well, how about you and I set the record straight on a few things people say about Mr. T-Rex? Did the T-Rex have fair dance? The short answer is, we don't know. Paleontologists have found impressions of skin where the T-Rex may have rested on mud. And all of these showed that the T-Rex was scaly. But then, scientists discovered a cousin of the T-Rex who had feathers, leading them to believe that the T-Rex had feathers too. Today, many believe there's a strong possibility that the T-Rex was most likely covered in scales, and if it did have feathers, they were likely on its back and spine. Is it true that a T-Rex can't see you if you don't move? In the movie Jurassic Park, Dr. Alan Grant says, don't move, it can't see you if you don't move. Well, that's wrong. The T-Rex had great vision and could see objects at a distance 13 times more clear than humans. Did the T-Rex have a brain the size of a peanut? With eyes as big as grapefruits and teeth the size of bananas, was the T-Rex's brain really the size of a peanut? The short answer is no. No. While their brains were somewhat small compared to their bodies, 
they were much bigger than other dinosaur brains, or even humans. Dinosaurs like the Stegosaurus had some of the smallest brain-to-body ratios, where dinosaurs like the T-Rex had much larger brain-to-body ratios. The Stegosaurus had such a small brain because that's all they needed to locate their food, function, or reproduce. But dinos like the T-Rex had it a bit harder. They had to see, smell, and hunt their food, so they were designed with larger brains. It's believed that the T-Rex was almost as intelligent as a modern-day chimp. Was the T-Rex the biggest dinosaur? Not even close. There's an even larger meat-eating dinosaur named Giganantosaurus. Sauro Poseidon was likely the tallest dinosaur, reaching heights of 60 feet. And there was one dinosaur named Supersaurus, which was one of the longest, reaching over 130 feet. Is it true that if you eat your school and drink your milk, you'll be a good boy? This is true. Now drink milk. Wait a second. I don't think that last one is... Uh-oh. A security guard is coming. We gotta split. What should I do? I don't know. Act normal or something. Hurry up. We gotta go. My, my. What lovely... paws you have. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Do me a favor and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at those names down there. I would really appreciate it. But I especially appreciate my patrons on Patreon who help keep this channel alive. Especially Nathan G. Karpinski and Noah M. Karpinski, Santi Barajas, Rory, The Rivard Boys, Sophie Becky and Rob Jenkins, Logan Turner, Kai Kim, Nina and Santino, Tobin and Nina, Dora and Levi, Buddy Deese, Arya and Kieran, Autumn McBottom and Beeg Sauce, Mika, Jordan and Maya, Greg Matlock, Wesley C, Nori Ben Gazelle, Matthew and James Mondiello, The Gauker Family, Rowan Scheibels, Micah the Marvelous, Jack and Easton Hess, Blazin Richard Dean Bartholomew, Britton and Cosette, The Peterson Pack, Marshall Evans, Kate and Sarah, Quinn Price Robertson, Xander and Lucinda, Aiden Fenway Riley, Amelia and Alan Mills, Aiton Judah, Christian and Emmalyn Johnson, Connor Lecoque and family, Rebecca Beanie, Lillian and Davis Sozen, Solomon and Chandler in Oregon, Dally and Scarlett Lewis, Rory Quinn, GC, Harry, Amador Baggerly, Creative Devin and Zach T, Mrs. Brown's first grade, Ada S, Evan Lee, Connor and Emma B, Isley and Jude Siegel, Leah and Gavin Clark, Jack and Colt Skinner, Lennon, McCartan, and Jones, Page, Avalon, and Cash, Maxwell M., Jake Hill, Dean Scandalakis, Megan Chu, Cash Kaser, Luke and Lily Hurlitz, Vivi and Jojo Roche, Jordana and Aaron, Wyatt Michelle, Kelly B., Ethan Grainer, Max Gurkoff, Aiden Swift, Riker Y., Luke Henry Q., and Stacy Q., Kerry, Billy, and Mora, Renko, Kosya, and Yaro, Nora Close, Timmy C., Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Jordan Montgomery, Evan Bristol and John Beecher, James Berg Pfeiffer III, Felix and Casper Watson Smith, Avery L., Amelia Murray, Hannah, Maya, and Zoe, Henry Pavelko, George and Emmett Wooliger, Noah and Zachary Hasname, Zeno the Shark, Ronan X and Raiden Z, Carter, Levi, and Fletcher, Madeline the Birthday Girl, Leif Anderson Miller, Lizzie, Dean, and Trevor, Elijah Robert, Arthur Watson, Huxley, Ophelia, Clem Laid, Fairy Scientist, Charlie, Iris, Henry, and Peanut, Ellie, Jack, and Bobby Griffin, Kara and Michael, Simon, Natalie, and Liam McNulty, Nakia Swift, Asher Jacobson, Jameson and Nolan, Jack and Grant Reed, Grayson Kristoff, Lily, Patrick, and Marina, Mason and Nora, Callum G, Mrs. Essinger's fourth grade class, Fred, Tio, Anne, Luke, and Joey, Rebecca and Sarah F. from Pennsylvania, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Gwen, Iggy, Elowin, and Addie, Porter, Isaac, and Wesley Pierce, Gavin Meidel, Nadia and Hannah, Evan Gray, Asher S., and Charles and Olivia. So do you want to get your name in a video too? Well, visit <sighs> patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can get your name in the video, see behind the scenes clips, and more. Check the description box for a link. Also, I've hidden a secret coupon code in this video. Try to find it. It's white and has a hashtag symbol before it. If you find it, you can get money off on cool stuff from my Teespring store like this. 
like this and like this. As always, check the description box for a link. And last, test your T-Rex knowledge with my T-Rex quiz from my Teachers Pay Teachers site. I have a bunch of other quizzes and worksheets that go along with my other videos there too. As always, check the description box for a link.